guys, how's it going? So today's project is gonna be a really fun one. The four pots that are in front of the barn, we are going to give them a little bit of a makeover and get them all planted up. So here's three of the four barn pots. The other one I have sitting here, getting ready for its makeover. And they've been out here for at least three or four seasons and they've served us really well and I do really like the size and shape of them a lot. I don't know about you guys, but after a certain amount of seasons, sometimes I'm ready for something new to look at, just something fresh. It doesn't have to be like a super expensive change, like today we're gonna be painting these containers. Um, sometimes I'll just kind of swap my containers around, like I'll just move stuff around and shift it um, to where I'm just looking at uh, the same pot maybe, but in a different location and it makes it look new. But I was standing up in the Versailles Garden the other night looking at the black square containers that we have up there and I just I really like those with our white house with the black shutters the barn is gonna hopefully be painted white this spring so I thought you know what maybe I should order more of those black containers for the barn um, but why not just paint these ones I really like these pots because I like the lattice on the side I think they're the perfect size and honestly if I screw it up too bad my mom's placing another order with unique stone uh, so in a pinch I could order myself a few new pots but I think that this is almost the most exciting part. I found the most glorious boxwood spirals. Look at these. These are wintergreen boxwoods, and it is very, very hard to find topiaries that are similar in size and shape. Like, it's, it's kind of crazy how hard it is. I've had my eye out for topiaries like this for the past few years. You might remember I had the Arborvitae spirals in them one year and I loved that, but uh, there was one of them that was trimmed in the opposite direction. So each one of, there are three of them took off in the same direction and then one of them, it just like, <laughs> I don't know, but that kind of stuff bugs me. So these all have the same general shape and size, which is gonna be so exciting. And boxwoods do so well for us in containers, even over the course of our winters. So what I'm gonna do is one at a time, get these pots out. I've got a brush here right here. We're going to scrape off any loose dirt or cobwebs, just kind of give the pot a once over. And then I'm gonna be spray painting them. And I use this right here. This is Rust-Oleum Satin Paint and Primer in one in black. Right there, that's what I've been using on our front estate planters and the planters in Versailles for the last few years. I thought I had a lot of it, like look at all these cans, but I went down and looked and I've got three part cans. Like there's hardly anything left in those three. So I had only picked up two with, when I was at the store because I thought I had so much left over. Um, so that means I might have to use some of this. I had some of this on hand. This is just Rust-Oleum Satin Black. It can't be that much different. It just doesn't have the primer in it. So anyway, let's get these pots painted, see what they look like. Everybody cross your fingers. Oh my goodness, you guys, I really like how they turned out. They're still drying right now. Let me see if I can get some close detail for you. So they're still a little bit wet, but that was a 15 minute, approximately $20 upgrade for these containers. That's crazy. I went through the two full cans that I bought and then the two part cans that I had left over and I still have this part can left, which not a whole lot left over, but I'll just save that one so I can do any patching if I need to. It's always so satisfying when something like this actually turns out, when it's inexpensive and it's easy to do. So I'm just gonna give them a couple minutes to dry. It's a little bit breezy out here today, so it's perfect. Um, and then we'll place them in their spots. I'm going to run drip into them. I'm not gonna forget. <laughs> and then we'll get them all planted up.
All right, they're all done, and I really, really like how they turned out. They look so like, I don't know, so appropriate for what I'm going for. So I am just super pleased with how this project came out. I mean, I was a little trepidatious going into it because when you paint something like that, I mean, there's no going back to the original pot. Um, and so I was just kind of a little bit nervous, but I'm just super happy with how they look out here. I think it's just a really fun change without needing to spend a bunch of money. I think it came in a little bit under $20, which is really crazy. It took me about 15 minutes to spray paint them. And then, you know, that's less the cost of the plants, obviously, um, which you could put whatever you wanted in whatever containers you have. These containers were uh, kind of a resin material, um, very lightweight. I think we originally got them from like MPG planters. I think they're sold at Home Depot. Um, anyway, so it wasn't like, I would feel a little bit more maybe nervous if it was a one of my really nice concrete urns or something like that that are a little bit more expensive than these are initially. Um, so anyway, I figured it would be a really fun project to try out. So anyway, I hope that this video inspired you. Maybe you have some containers at home that you wanna freshen up, maybe not black, maybe a different color. Um, yeah, I think that the sky's the limit. So anyway, thanks guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one, bye.